Aries, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you that are brand new, welcome to our channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm using the 1960s and 1970s vintage deck. We're going to find out where the energies lie. Remember, this is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's all in divine timing. I've had people come back to me several months later after saying it didn't resonate and then come back on the comment section or email me and say, wow, like now this is happening. So, you know, never say never, even though it doesn't resonate now. It may three, six months from now. That's how tarot works, okay? I've had things happen to me up to a year later. So, okay, keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. For those of you that are brand new and you're unaware, if you subscribe to our channel, which is absolutely free, hit the like and the notification bell. That will qualify you for the free giveaway. I give away three bracelets every month. They are handmade by myself. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a sample of one right now. And I chose all of the most beneficial healing stones to all of us. And the reason why I did that was I just found that I needed three or four bracelets to make up my one bracelet. You'll get to choose your charm and your size. I custom make from six to seven three quarters. Again, no cost to you, just your time. Subscribe, hit the like button, and like the Facebook page. All the information is down in the description box as well as the comment section below. Everything you could possibly want, including our website, shacy.com for personal reads, okay? Let's get started. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this can definitely play out from the cross watcher's perspective, so keep that in mind, okay? I quite often pick up our other person's energy if you have somebody in mind, and if you don't, it could be picking up somebody in your future. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirits, April 2020. For April 2020, you have the Four of Swords. So this is what we're currently all doing right now. We're just kind of resting, chilling, relaxing, chillaxing, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like I've been through a bit of a battle here and I'm just taking a load off Fanny here and I'm going to relax and I'm not going to do anything. And I think we're all pretty much doing, doing that. Um, not everybody. Clarify the Four of Swords here, please, for Aries. Clarify the Four of Swords. Wow. Okay, that's too many cards. We're going to redo that. If they're meant to come back out again, they will, but that's too many. Four of Swords, clarify the Four of Swords for Aries. Thank you, spirits. Wow, success is coming though. Maybe you're just kind of sit, sitting back and chillaxing because you know you've been through this battle and you know you've won it, and now you're kind of being recognized for coming out on top and uh, moving forward quite successfully, whatever it is that you feel you have conquered here. That's fantastic. If it's not you, it's somebody that's close to you, okay? And now it's kind of like, I'm, I'm parading through the streets. I've won this battle. I'm ready to move forward now. I've been successful at whatever endeavor it was that you set out to conquer. Okay, I feel like you have. Right. And if this resonates for you, for those of you that are brand new, I always continue reading on Vimeo. Okay, it's another 15 plus or minus minutes. And I will definitely be clarifying with the traditional tarot as well as... I'm going to do some moonology as well. I'm going to pull one before we close this reading as well, we're gonna get some messages from the universe and I'm gonna get the mutual energies between you and your person using our exclusive Shacy Prism Tarot cards. And in the extended as well, I'm gonna pull some moon, Mystic Moon Oracle, they're awesome. And we're gonna do a pick a card with the Romance Angels, okay? So for those of you that are interested in the continuation, if this resonates for you, definitely check that out. That'll be in the description box as well below. We'll do the pick a card and uh, let's go ahead. Okay, so. Why is the Six of Wands here? What's this victory about, please, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? <laughs> you could be involved with a Libra or a Taurus, but I also have your energy here. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, and um, Leo, but we have air energy as well. So it could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So I've got Libra here twice. So we've got air fire and earth okay this can also signify that not only could it be a libra taurus this is the empress it's major arcana this can signify that you know maybe you've had success or victory with your mother it can be mother of your children baby mother um this can just be that you're successful in bringing in abundance that could be material gain that could be as well let's keep going we're going to find out Maybe you've been in through some kind of a, a, a bit of a battle here that involved money or finances. Could be with a Libra Taurus, again, or a fire sign, another air sign. Why is the Empress here, please? Clarify the Empress. Wow. Interesting. It can be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. So 
strong earth energy here this can be about money finances maybe you were in battle to do with finances can be business can be um, to do with love but you're guarding protecting yourself here standing up for yourself perhaps it's this can be creating you know um, kind of like you're creating a barrier between you and somebody else you're setting boundaries it can be with the mother of your children quite possibly or vice versa or it could just simply be with a Capricorn a Taurus your mother per se again we don't know we got to dig a lot deeper but this is somebody that's kind of like you know setting boundaries or blocking somebody out you may have blocked somebody out recently been in a bit of a you know um, turmoil with them and you're just kind of retreating and saying no enough is enough and you're like you know stay away from me kind of thing is what I'm feeling here you're blocking somebody out you know um, emotionally physically hopefully not um, but this is definitely you're setting boundaries or blocking somebody or they're blocking you clarify the Queen of Pentacles here please for Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus clarify the Queen of Pentacles I just love these cards they absolutely awesome Wow okay so they may be trying to make an offer towards you okay or it could be a water sign Scorpio Pisces or Cancer but it's mostly about this card here this is you know the universe saying that somebody you know maybe coming in towards you with an offer it can be Capricorn Taurus Virgo Libra any of the signs I specified but you're not trusting it or you've set it boundaries with this person um, but there's a card of success here so we're gonna keep going here somebody wants to maybe take you out and you're not trusting them you set up your guard here for some reason you're not trusting this person you know maybe they're kind of a little bit too suave <laughs> whatever that means for you we're gonna clarify as well again I'll continue a lot I'll, I'll I always dig way deeper in that extended so sometimes I get double and clip triple uh, confirmations so we're gonna figure it out let's clarify the knight of knight of cups let me know in the comment section what's going on with you all I want to hear from you guys okay knight of cups why is the knight of cups here please for Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus clarify the knight of cups why is the Knight of Cups here? Clarify the Knight of Cups. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles again. Okay. So it definitely could be a Queen of Pentacles, an earth sign coming in towards you. They might have water, fire, and earth in their chart. Okay. But this is about somebody that wants to bring an offer to you. And, and they want to bring in stability to you. They're looking towards the future. They're making plans here. They may have made a choice to come towards you with this offer or again it can be vice versa it can play out from your perspective but i feel like you're kind of you're not trusting them you're kind of blocking them out so maybe they did something in the past i have no idea we're going to keep going but you know the two of wands is about you know i've got the world in my hands and i've got a new beginning i'm starting to make choices and I feel like this is someone wanting to come in towards you or you in towards them but somebody's blocking it out not trusting this offer okay maybe you may have set boundaries with this person they may be laying here kind of thinking about how to come in towards you if you're at a distance or whether or not it doesn't matter this is about trying to figure it out maybe they've been during this period with everything going on in the world maybe they're taking this time to kind of figure out that hey this person you know, want to come into them and I want to make this offer, but I'm not sure how. So they're kind of laying and resting on it. They may have been through a period of time, you know, this can represent recovery. It can re be recovery from um, an addiction. It can be recovery from prison. It can be recovery from just a battle that they've been through in court. It can be anything, anything that somebody's been through that's been difficult. And they may have had to have set boundaries with you okay so maybe you're you're setting boundaries with this person now we do have the queen of pentacles twice this can be about stability maybe there was something affecting the stability in this relationship or stability financial wise could be either or we're going to keep going here we got to dig aries i want to hear from you what's going on queen of pentacles twice maybe you have maybe you're involved with two earth sides let's go ahead and clarify why is this nine of wands here again please wow Wow, I wouldn't block that out. Look what you got. Woohoo! Ace of Cups. That's like overflowing love. This person has a lot of love for you or you them, but for whatever reason, you're not trusting it or vice versa. And, you know, you or they or both of you are trying to figure this out here. This is definitely a love reading. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to shuffle the, the Shacy Prism. We're going to get the mutual energies between you and your person. 
There's obviously somebody here. And again, this is new love. This is definitely new love with the Ace of Cups. Or it can be somebody that you've known before that you've just never got a chance to date. However, it resonates for you. Okay, but it definitely looks like new love. And if this hasn't yet happened yet, this can happen in the future. Okay. This can be about making travel plans as well. Again, you may be at a distance from them or them from you and they're trying to figure out how to, to get your guard down. The other way of looking at this too, uh, for some of you, this is you guarding yourself against a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo uh, because you've been through a battle with them and you have new love somewhere else or you're thinking about somebody else somewhere else and you're not interested in this. It could be, you know, again, the, the babe, the mother, of your children it could be or vice versa this person's looking towards you for cross watchers and closing out a chapter or have just been through a recent battle with somebody else prior to you and they're coming in towards you with this new love offer and you're not trusting it could be that they were involved with the mother of their children or because queen of pentacles empress that's like a married mother what are the mutual energies, please, between Aries and the person of interest? What are the mutual energies, please, for April 2020? Again, if in case I forgot, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, I don't recall saying it. I will focus on May 2020 sneak peek in the extended, okay? What is the mutual energies? Ooh, okay, yeah, so there was some heartbreak. So you may not be trusting this person when they come towards you with an offer, okay? I want to take you out. Let's take this relationship to the next level. They have a lot of love for you. That's what I'm seeing. This is being handed from the universe. Think twice about turning that down, okay? Don't block yourself off too much. I mean, at least hear what this person, I feel, has to say to you. They've been thinking a lot about this or a lot about you or, again, vice versa. I feel like something happened with perhaps a mother of their children, and now they've got a new beginning, and they're making plans to see you or figuring out how to see you or how to make this offer because they know that you're blocked. And there's been heartbreak between the two of you on both sides. It's not just one or the other. This is on both sides. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. And, you know, some of you say, well, I'm not interested. Well, that's fine. We all have our free will. Then, then block them out if that's what you want to do. I'm just showing you and telling you what I'm seeing and feeling here. And that's what I'm seeing and feeling. I can't make it up. <laughs> I won't make it up. Look, support. Spirit saying ask for support. Look at this. New idea, creative, new business. So this could be a brand new beginning for the two of you if you allow it in. And that, again, is up to you. But that's what I'm seeing. And the universe is saying ask for support. Okay, there's been heartbreak on both sides here. That's what I'm seeing. All right, let's go ahead and get a moonology. I hope this resonates for you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Again, it's free to get in the bracelet giveaway. Oh, and if you want to check it out at the end of this video as well is the bracelet giveaway link and you can see the former winners. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. So there's still a chance here. There's still an opportunity. It's up to you. That's what the universe is saying. It's up to you, Aries. This looks good. Okay, I want one more mutual energies, please. And we're going to do a clarification on this Ace of Cups. What is mutual energies, please, between Aries and their person of interest? One more, please, spirits. Wow. Reunion reconciliation. So this could be somebody that you've touched base with before, that you had a romantic interest in, and now it's coming back around. Again, nothing yet is set in stone. This could be a reunion. They may be at a distance from you, and they may want to bring this relationship to the next level here. And it's going to be, you know, I want to take you out for dinner. They're going to start it there. But believe me, there's a lot of love here. That's what I'm seeing here. So that's up to you if you want to allow that back in. But I feel like somebody is not trusting or blocking somebody out. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing. All right. I want to go ahead and get one more card on the Ace of Cups. And then we're going to head over to the continuation on Vimeo. Clarify, please, the Ace of Cups here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Ace of Cups there? Oh, my goodness sakes. That's too many cards. Just one, please. Ace of Cups for... <laughs> they're hopping. I think they're ready for that extended. They're just flying out of my hands here. Wow. Yes, yeah, see? They want to communicate. They want to come in towards you. Okay, but they feel like you're going to be guarded. That's what I'm feeling here. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to move to the extent and we're going to find out. It's about communication, arrows of love, making plans for the future here. They feel that you are their future, their love. 
Let's go ahead and check it out in the extended. I will be doing more with the 1960s and 70s deck here, as well as again, other tarot cards. And we're gonna find out if um, uh, where this is going. Is this communication, travel? We're gonna find out. Thank you, Aries. I hope this resonated for you. I appreciate you all being here very much. And stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. For those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me for the continuation, I will be right there. Namaste.